Hey guys, in this quick video, I'm basically going to show you how to select layers or shapes or anything you basically want to select in a selection using a great plugin called Simi Layers. The plugin that I want to talk about is this one that you see in front of you. It's a really awesome plugin and I would definitely recommend it. It has a lot of functionality. So imagine I actually want to go ahead and create an icon variant. So I already have icons within these buttons. If you go here, as you can see, we have the icon right and the icon left. Now I want to go ahead and I want to say that I want to duplicate all of these different states and different sizes and different types that I've created. And I basically want to go ahead and actually have an icon variant for it. So in this variant, we're going to have the icon that's going to be right. So I want the right icon, icon to be enabled here. In order to do so, I'm just I, you know, if I actually had to do it manually, I would have to go ahead and select all of the icon rights individually by going here, 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 and imagine like, I don't, I don't even know like how many these are, it's probably close to 50. And that's gonna take a lot of time. So I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna say right, and then I'm gonna open my plugin. So this is the Simulators plugin. I can obviously search for different things. I can say I wanna search using a fill style. And what's great about this plugin is if I say I'm gonna, I want to search by a fill style, I can say I only wanna select the elements that actually have a primary 600 fill in the global selection that I've made. So I click on select layers and as you can see, it's selected everything that actually has a primary 600 color. I can go ahead and I can say, I don't want a 600, I want something like this and it's gonna change it. So it's extremely important and powerful. Uh, if I similarly go here, I'm gonna say that I wanna select by layer name since i want to only select all of the icon all of the angle right icons i'm going to select them and i'm just going to go ahead and unhide them and as you can see all of the icons are now visible similarly i'm going to do the same thing for the icon left i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to drag all of these zoom in so just so you guys can see it select all of these basically and then say simulators and then layer name and then say i want to select the icon left here and I'm gonna select the icon left and then enable it. And as you can see, we have these, this as well. And let me just go ahead and say left here um, for the icon. And I also wanna have another variant for both, where both of the icons are gonna be visible. So I'm gonna to go to my simulators again. I'm gonna say, I wanna search by a layer name, which is gonna be the angle right. And I'm gonna go ahead and enable the angle right here as well. So as you can see, we have all of the variants that we basically created here and it all looks good. So this is the plugin that I basically wanted to show you. It's really powerful. It can allow you to easily select elements based on a lot of different properties. And it also shows the, the properties or the type of properties that you can search by or the values of the properties you can search by. So as an example, just again, if I wanted to, let's say, search by a, a weather the layer type let's say i'm going to i can select by layer type i can select by blend modes i can select by a lot of different things and i can do a lot of these things by in combination with one another so imagine if i go here i'm going to say i want to search by let's say the effect style uh, the fill style the text style it's going to say it's going to tell me hey you have these text styles applied here i can also search by fill uh, and I can do all of these things, right? I can say I want to, I, let's say, if I were just doing this by default, I only want to select, let's say, the buttons that have a white text and probably something, something else. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say the fill style is going to be, the text fill style is going to be, let's say, white. And let's see where I actually have white here. So here's the background white, and I'm gonna say I wanna select this, but there's also something else that I can do. I can say that I wanna select by a font size as well. So I wanna select only the ones that are 14 pixels. So if I do that, as you can see, it selects only the smaller buttons here, not all of them, only the smaller ones. And it's just really extremely powerful. So that's gonna be for it. That's gonna be it for this video. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.